Igor, I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. All right. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. He has this strange powder. He calls it dust, but it's secret. Only a handful of people even know it exists. Dust? Why are you telling me about this? Because I can see you for what you are now. And what's that? A forthright and honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. Anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. Well, if it works, there must be something to it. I should definitely look into it. You should. Okay, I'll check it out first chance I get. Magic powder? It's not really your style to believe in such things, is it, Igor? Still, if there's any truth to it, it could be your best chance to defeat the shadows, and perhaps even him, the Black Stalker. Watch out for those bastards, Igor. I heard on the radio that they're sending more troops to Red Forest. Hello, fellow prospector. I have a favor I'd like to ask you. What's on your mind, stranger? I came across an old safe, but I can't open it. You seem to know a thing or two about locks, so I was wondering... Sorry, I need to focus on finding my brother, Athanasius. I can't afford any distractions. I found this on one of the bodies in the NAR prison. I knew it. I've had a terrible feeling for some time now. Athanasius came to me in a dream, and I guess I just didn't want to accept it. I'm really sorry. There was nothing I could do for him. The NER must have captured and interrogated him. Did he suffer? I don't want him to become another vengeful spirit. I... I wish I could tell you that he didn't, but I honestly don't know. Thank you for letting me know. I guess there's no point in staying here any longer. Poor Athanasius. It was supposed to be our Eldorado, but fate decided otherwise. It's time for me to figure out what's next. Well, I never disclose trade secrets, but I do owe you for finding Athanasius. So, by the time you get back to the safe, I'll have it opened. Thanks. Sorry again about your brother. His karma caught up with him. Such is life. Stay safe. Safe travels, my friend.
Olga, we've got a situation here. What's wrong? Your village. It looks abandoned, destroyed, burned down. What? Oh, God damn it. We'll check it out. Find out what happened. Sweet mother of God! Gleb! What's going on? Talk to me, goddammit! Your people are all dead. I'm so sorry. And Gleb, too. What are you saying? The kid was safe in the bunker. Locked, but safe. And now you have a child's blood on your hands. It's my fault. I sent him straight to his death. No, no, no. Are you sure that everyone's gone? What about Kostya? Medve? I don't know, Olga. Just take a look around. See if you can find out what happened. I will. Are you going on a date with Boris again? It's not a date. We're just friends, as you well know. You've been meeting up with him a lot lately. Semenov is giving him a hard time about the project. Boris needs someone to talk to. Does that someone have to be you? Why are you doing this, Igor? You know my heart. Trust me. I found something else. More dead? No. It's a tape recorder. Your name is written on the tape. Okay. Uh, play the tape, Igor. My beloved Olga. My sweetheart. I made a terrible mistake. I only wanted you to see what I saw. That Matvey is a tyrant. That he's hiding things from us and that he was putting everyone in unnecessary danger. I needed to weaken him so I could make things right for us. I spiked the food. I thought I knew what I was doing, but someone mixed up the pots and the anesthetic ended in everyone's meals. I woke up to gunshots in the middle of the night. NAR stormed the village and killed everyone in their sleep. Only I survived because I ran. I ran like a coward. I wanted to prove myself to you so bad. My scheming got everyone killed. So this is it, my love. My confession. I was never a religious type, but I will go and ask the dead for forgiveness before I join them. It's the only decent thing left for me to do. Goodbye, Olga. What? I can't believe it. I can't do this. I can't handle this. I'm terribly sorry, Olga. I had no idea. Of course not. Why would you? Please go look for Kostya. Find this white powder shit. Huh? 
here talking about the kind you put up your nose? No, we've got that at the base already. This is something else. Olga, I... I found Kostya. He's... Yes? He shot himself. It was quick. <laughs> I'm so... so sorry. I didn't see that coming. No, he did. Dad, please, please give me a moment. Jesus, this isn't really a cemetery, is it? It looks more like a mass grave. I know, but it gives this awful place a kind of dignity, doesn't it? NAR used to dump bodies here. Phosphorus, slate lime. In time, it'll burn everything up. I found my mom there, what's left of her. What? Why didn't you tell me? Any other secrets you'd like to share? I didn't want you to know about this place until now. Besides, everyone has secrets. The only question is, how harmful are they? I'll check the bones, if you don't mind. Unbelievable. Is it possible they were telling the truth? What's going on? Remember when I told you about Chernobylite being a giant turtle that supports the Earth? It, it, it could be true, well, at least partially. What do you mean? It seems to be organic. Moreover, it shows signs of basic cognitive functioning. Uh, to put it plainly, it learns. That's why it avoids the lie and phosphorus. <laughs> Incredible. That explains why the shadows won't touch it. I have no idea how Matvey came up with this, but he hit the jackpot. You can tell me the rest when you get back. Bring the dust. I told you to return to the UK, Igor, but I see you didn't listen. Well, it's understandable in a way. You're constantly interfering in everyone's business. You're the wild card of the zone. There's no telling if you'll end up on the side of the heroes or the rats. You're talking gibberish. You think I don't know you've been talking to Semenov? Perhaps even Koslov? Who else, I wonder? But your little gang of misfits and rejects has no idea you're playing both sides. How do you... You really are naive, aren't you, Igor? Like a lost little boy. That big brain of yours still can't comprehend what's really going on. Perhaps you're not so special after all. Rat? Why did he call you a rat, Mousy? They're using you, and you can't even see it. Did you ever think to stop running everyone's errands for five minutes and ask yourself why you're here? Why you're really here? You're insane. Chernobylite is messing with your mind. Listen, I never sold anyone out. Someone sent me a picture of Tatiana. And I saw her in my dreams. She called out for me to find her. You're a goddamn liar. She would never. No, you don't belong here. It's the truth, and I can tell you believe it. 
You're delusional. Semenov used the photograph to lure you here, to get you to mess with my plans. He made you his puppet, whether you realize it or not. You underestimate me, old friend. Yes, I know it's you, Boris. What happened to you? We had our differences back in the day, but we were also good friends, the three of us. Tatiana has always been the most important person in my life. That's true. But that doesn't mean I don't care about anyone else, about my friends. Friends? <laughs> sure. Sure, Boris and Eagle, bosom comrades to the end. Cross my heart, and all that. It's really bizarre to see you claiming something that doesn't belong to you. If only you knew. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't care. I will find Tatiana. If I have to go through you to do so, I will. You're not lacking in courage, Igor. But courage without knowledge is indistinguishable from stupidity. Do you understand what you're up against? I know you talk to those halfwits in my lab. Their indiscretion cost them their lives, by the way. You killed them for telling me that crazy theory of yours? That Chernobylite is an organism so powerful it can produce singularities and wormholes inside its own multi-dimensional body? Believe what you want. But how do you hope to challenge such power if you can't even defeat me? You're so far out of your depth. You don't even realize. I have my own plans, and they don't involve you. Not yet, anyway. I'm not going to kill you. Not today. You can thank her for that. But I can't make any promises about the future. Who knows what the future will bring? I sincerely hope I never see you again, Igor. That was impressive, what you did back there. You faced a monster and survived. Not everyone can say that. And you two have history, right? Damn. Respect, man. Really. Thanks, I guess. But keep your eyes on the prize, okay? We're not done quite yet. Praise the great rat catcher in the skies. You faced the devil himself and survived. Yes, <laughs> it was quite an experience. Don't worry. I could never believe that you were the rat king, or even a lesser rat. You have a pure heart. I trust you. But now we know exactly what we're up against. Chernobylite is the evil that descended upon this world. It's the true face of the Rat King. 
Listen to me, Igor. Whatever the cost, we have to destroy it. Professor. What's the matter, Mousy? What can I do for you, Professor? 